here's how I installed the storage door on a 2020 Forest River. I ordered my door 30 inches wide, which is the same as the bunkhouse window. That way the stud that's in the wall that comes down the side of the window, it would line up with the stud for the storage door. Um, I Once it's installed, the door don't come with a gasket. So I bought some gasket like this. It is a window sealer. Could have got smaller, but I wanted to make sure it was big enough. And I super glued it to the flange that goes against the camper after you cut the hole out. And once it was, I super glued it all the way around, brought it outside, installed it in the hole. And I'm still not finished yet. I just want to do this before it got dark. Um, I screwed it to the studs and to the bottom plate and to the stud over here. And then after it was screwed in tight, I took a razor knife and cut the gasket off and then siliconed all the way around it. And of course, before I put it in there, I put silicone right around the edge. That way the gasket had silicone in between it and the middle and then a silicone on the top. Here's the silicone that I used, an all-purpose, 100% waterproof, 100% silicone. Here's the tool I used to cut the metal. Um, I refer to it as a zipper tool. They got flat blades that work a lot better, but that's all I had at the time. Take you inside and show you. I started my work inside to make sure everything would go good for me. I came in here and, of course, took the bed out. But I found the tape here that was covering the seams. And I knew there would be a stud behind that. So I pulled pulled the Luan back and I measured how far from the break to the edge of the stud that was. Then I measured from the bottom up how much I needed to cut on the Luan. Added a little bit to it for security. Took my level, done me a, a level line and a plumb line to where I knew that my door needed to be no lower than this and no more to the right than that. I took my door, held my door against them two lines. I stacked up some stuff on the ground to help hold the weight of the door level with my level line. Held my door inside, traced around with a pencil, used a razor knife and cut out, cut this out with just a regular box cutter razor knife. And then when I opened it up, I had my stud there and a stud there, which was, is on each side of the window up top. Had a stud in the center, but it only went up to the bottom of this. So it was like a crippler. And I was able just to pull it out. Took me, of course, tried my door to make sure it fit, and it did. Took a 3 16th inch drill bit, drilled holes all the way around the bottom of this cut against my metal on the outside all the way around went on the outside of the camper and had my wife hold the door against the camper and then trace the door around my holes that i drilled from the inside out use that zipper tool and cut it and it took a while about 20 minutes of cutting cut it all up and I had to do a little bit of trim work after I was done with the outside cut to make it fit perfect. But the number one issue that you're gonna run into is make sure you order the door as wide as your window. That way it lines up with the studs and everything at the bottom and don't try to offset it. Keep it lined up. That way you're not adding or taking away studs that you don't need to. Very simple. I got the door on eBay for, um, I can't remember, hundred something dollars I think or 80 bucks, I mean, it wasn't bad. But uh, y'all just dive into it, man. Good luck.